Greetings, Pip Boys and Vault Girls of the Commonwealth. We are here today to take an empirical look at what is the optimal EN Boost memory value for you to use based on your hardware. I know there's been a lot of confusion about this because the ENB VRAM size test can sometimes return some very large values which don't seem realistic. Today we're going to get to the bottom of all of that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say EN Boost or VRAM size test, please take a look at my video for ENB 0.282 below and then come back and watch this video. It'll make more sense. Some users report that the VRAM size test returns exorbitant values as high as 60,000 and other values that exceed the actual physical VRAM and RAM amounts. The reason this is the case is because any value that is returned that is greater than your actual physical RAM plus VRAM is actually hard disk space that can be used as RAM but is very slow. So do not use a number larger than your actual physical RAM plus VRAM, otherwise your performance will suffer. Okay, so if the VRAM size test cannot be trusted, how do we determine the optimal value to use? Well, there's a simple formula for this. The equation is your VRAM plus your RAM minus the RAM required for the operating system, Fallout 4, and any other processes. All right, so first let's take a look at the RAM requirements for the Windows operating system. Whether you're running Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10, the operating system requires one gigabyte of RAM for the 32-bit version, or two gigabytes of RAM for the 64-bit version. And since Fallout 4 is a 64-bit game, that means we are looking at two gigabytes. Now, let's take a look at the RAM requirements of Fallout 4. If we look at the official minimum requirements, and in fact, the recommended requirements, both of these recommend eight gigabytes of RAM. That is not to say that Fallout itself requires all eight gigabytes of RAM, but rather, they recommend that in order to play the game, your system should have at least eight gigabytes of RAM. So, if we assume that two gigabytes are being used by the Windows operating system, that leaves two to six gigabytes available for use by Fallout 4. All right, instead of guessing, why don't we just take a look at the actual RAM usage of Fallout 4 under various conditions. And I have my task manager here at the top right so that I can monitor the memory usage of the Fallout 4 process. For these tests, I have disabled the EN Boost mod and the Shadow Boost mod to get a clean reading. In playing at high settings, no matter how much mayhem I create, the game never seems to use more than about 2.5 gigabytes of RAM. If we run the game on ultra settings, this has an impact, so now let's go back into the game with ultra settings. And you can see amidst all this inner city carnage that the RAM usage actually goes a little bit above 3 gigabytes, close to somewhere around 3.2. And now if you happen to be playing the game at 4K and at very high frame rates, it's possible that this number could go even higher. Okay, so what have we learned about the RAM required for the operating system, Fallout 4, and other processes? So we've determined it's 2 gigabytes for any version of Windows, approximately 3 gigabytes for the Fallout 4 game itself, and let's allow one gigabyte for other processes and just to give ourselves a little bit of overhead. And this gives us a total of six gigabytes of RAM required for the OS, Fallout 4, and other processes. All right, well, we've done our detective work. Now let's do a bit of quick math and take a look at our results. Starting off with gamers with very nice hardware, assuming uh, eight gigabytes of VRAM and 32 gigabytes of RAM, all we have to do is subtract six gigabytes giving us a total of 34 or 34,000 as the value to use for video memory size in the ENB local INI for the EN Boost feature. For users with four gigabytes of VRAM and 16 gigabytes of RAM, again, we subtract six, leaving us 14 gigabytes or 14,000. Looking at a more mid-range setup with two gigabytes of VRAM and 12 gigabytes of RAM, we subtract six gigabytes, leaving us with eight gigs, and down on the lower end, we have one gigabyte of VRAM and eight gigabytes of RAM. Again here, we subtract six, leaving a value of 3,000. Now this last one might be the most interesting because the game's minimum requirements suggest a minimum of two gigabytes of VRAM. So for these users, in effect, by setting a value of 3,000 here, they allow the game to use three gigabytes of VRAM and thus meet the minimum requirements. 
What's worth noting here is that even with a value as low as 3000, users will not miss out on any benefit of the mod today. This is because even at ultra settings at 1080p, and when my frame rate is crippled, even in these cases, the VRAM usage never exceeds 3 gigabytes, equivalent to the 3000 value for video memory size. Now this is true for the time being, though once all the mods and texture packs come rolling along, it'll be a different story. Alright folks, that's all for today. I hope you found this video useful and that you're all now able to set up EN Boost just right for your systems. As always, thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe for more updates about ENB for Fallout 4.